Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I know I haven't been uploading videos on my channel of lately and it's been such a long one and it's just because I did mention uh, on my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, you might be knowing that my camera stopped working. I did film a lot of videos uh, but the footage was not perfect and everything was going here and there and uh, that's why I had to give it in the service station and it took around one and a half months to reach out to me and it's finally here and then that's why I started filming again with this video. I actually uh, like film uh, the Sephora haul video with my other camera but I don't know what happened while uh, importing videos uh, to my desktop. Um, all the files was missing and a lot of things happened so this is for the third time I'm filming this video cross fingers everything goes well because my husband is not around he's on his business trip and um, I have nobody else to help me with this so cross fingers everything goes well with this and uh, yeah i think that is all uh, what i wanted to mention it to you guys that is why i wasn't uploading videos on my channel and i know i am not that regular with my videos but i'll try and make sure that i upload at least four videos in a month i'll try uh, my best to do that and i have talked a lot now i should just start uh, with the sephora haul video so this is the bag which i got so there are a lot of goodies inside and this is not from India actually I got all this stuff from Malaysia actually one of my family members was going to Singapore and Malaysia and anybody in my family who is going out they have had to bring me stuff from Sephora and if you are someone who is watching this video who doesn't like to spend so much of money on makeup stop watching this video right now because I am someone uh, who loves to buy makeup collect makeup I am makeup junkie I love anything uh, makeup I love makeup you guys and um, if you are uh, somebody like me give this video a thumbs up so that I can know that you are like me and you also love makeup so before I open the Sephora bag I actually wanted to show you guys two of the products which I've got from insta sailors and uh, they are my favorite insta sailors I usually buy my makeup from there so first thing is this fat shape tape concealer which looks like this this is how the concealer looks like I got it from beautytales.in I'll link both of their pages in the description box for you guys they both are really nice and uh, I usually buy my makeup from them and this is in the shade medium and again I have heard a lot of good things about this concealer from uh, on Instagram as well as on YouTube so I thought of getting it I tried this concealer twice and I am loving it uh, my favorite concealer is definitely naked skin concealer like urban decay's naked skin concealer is my holy grail but this is full coverage and I never thought that I'll be loving this concealer uh, that much but I'm falling in love I'm definitely getting other shade in this one as well which match my skin tone so that I can use this um, you know like when I don't want to wear foundation I can definitely use it that way so I'll be getting uh, one shade darker in this next thing i got is this tacha luminous dewy skin mist again um i have heard a lot of good things about this actually i've got this just because makeup by mario who is kim kardashian's makeup artist he uses this on kim's all the time and just because of that reason i wanted to splurge on this because i love how kim's face look very glowy very luminous all the time i used to hide my eyes and used to spray it on my highlighter it makes your highlighter game to another level it's that <laughs> glowy this is the one who loves you know dewy face makeup you love this uh, spray for that purpose so this is a splurge actually nobody needs to spend this much of money on face mist and I'll link both of their pages in the description box for you guys if you want to check them out now we'll open this Sephora bag the first thing I got is this Urban Decay's All Nighter Liquid Foundation and I have got it in the shade 7 and uh, I've heard a lot of people are saying that it oxidizes and I wasn't there so I was not sure that what shade I should pick for myself and uh, I've checked uh, a lot of sites to match my skin tone and as I have heard that it oxidizes that's why I got one shade lighter I don't know whether this will suit me or not but this is how the packaging looks like as you can see it's silver how the bottle looks like when I used to see it on uh, YouTube and I used to think 
that it's going to be really heavy and bulky but it's actually very lightweight and it's travel friendly it's not that you know um, heavy or something but when you see it on camera you will feel that it might be very bulky but it's not it's very lightweight actually I'm planning on doing a full in-depth review of this foundation on my channel so if you want to watch that video please don't forget to subscribe so that you can watch the review of this foundation on my channel okay it contains 30 ml of the product uh, which is the normal uh, quantity that usually foundation contains so this is the first thing which I got I don't know the prices because they were in uh, Malaysian currency so I don't know the actual prices uh, so I won't be uh, listing down the prices but you can check their prices on Sephora's website if you are interested thing I've got is this Tarte's um, palette eyeshadow palette now you might have seen a lot uh, on youtube this palette has been raved by a lot of uh, youtubers uh, last year when it was launched and still people are loving this uh, eyeshadow palette i wanted this palette for so so long but uh, it is quite expensive so this time i thought of getting it because it's summer and i might make uh, use of this palette now this is how the palette looks from inside it has got 12 eyeshadows as you can see it has got three shimmery eyeshadows and all the other like rest of the eyeshadows are matte i'll be using this palette very very soon on my channel so let me know if you want me to use uh, this palette or if you want me to review this eyeshadow palette on my channel i would love to do it next thing i got is this uh, becca's low light and highlight uh, perfecting pressed palette actually it has got one contour shade and one highlighter it's called low light and highlight this is how the packaging looks like when you open it has got a contour shade and a highlighter this highlighter is actually opal which is again a lot of people's favorite yes it's very cool tone i would love to use this and this is the highlighter and i can't wait to use this one next thing i got is this benefits whatsapp highlighter and this is how the packaging looks like this was on my list for so so long you guys this was the og highlighter actually when the highlighter game uh, just began and people used to love this highlighter till date people are loving this highlighter i got this just because i wanted to use this on daily purpose when i don't want my makeup to be that you know bold i can just uh, wear this by itself to get that you know subtle glow from within kind of a look how the packaging looks like and let me slide open here is the product oops i always do this and this is how the product looks like here you have the puff which i'm not going to use but here you just have to twist so that you get the product and i'll show you how it swatches so it's like powder to cream finish see it melts into your skin i love it <laughs> whenever i'm going out i'm wearing this highlighter on my face and i'm loving it so far so the next thing i got is cat von d's uh, locket translucent setting powder they do have other shades in this but i got the translucent one and it contains 19 gram of the product this is how the product looks like it has got the product over here and here is the Kat Von D's logo as you can see and when you open it doesn't come with any puff or any sort of a thing it's just like Laura Mercier's packaging and when you open you have the product over here I've gotten the shade translucent because uh, I wasn't sure that what shade to pick so I thought of getting translucent one I'll try and use this on my channel and share my thoughts with you guys soon uh, because I can't wait to use this translucent powder I love my Laura Mercier one but I cannot wait to use this one as well so the next thing I got is this Kat Von D's shade and light palette this is face palette they also have um, eye palette in this uh, as well if I can open this it's not coming out okay so this is how the packaging looks like I love the packaging you guys there is a big mirror over here which is very nice and um, there is three contour shades and this shade is very famous people are loving this lyric shade a lot for uh, 
brightening this uh, area of your like under eyes uh, people are raving about this shade a lot so i can't wait to use this palette soon on my channel and let you guys know my thoughts that how i feel about this palette that whether to splurge on this palette or not but uh, obviously i've heard a lot of good things so i don't think that i have uh, you know made a bad decision with this palette because this palette is a little bit expensive and it's gonna work for every skin tone out there i think the next thing i got is this beauty blender pro the black one and if you have watched any of my videos you might be knowing that i only use a black beauty blender and i cannot do my makeup without beauty blender at all i use it for my concealer for my foundation even uh, i used to uh, set my concealer like applying my loose powder uh, with this uh, beauty blender itself i cannot do my makeup in short i need this in my makeup and uh, the one which i'm using is uh, in its last stage it's gonna die anytime so i needed a backup so that's why i got this in handy so the next thing i got are a couple of sheet masks which are sliced sheet masks and they are by the brand called coco star and i got them because i was going through their instagram page um, like malaysia's and singapore sephora instagram page and i get to see this sheet mask over there so i thought of buying them and they weren't that expensive so i got thought of getting it i think they might be of 150 rupees or 250 rupees uh, not more than that they are that inexpensive so i thought of getting myself uh, these sheet masks i've got four varieties they have got couple of varieties but uh, in that store uh, they had only four variants in this so i've got two of the watermelon sheet masks this is how the front looks like and this is how it looks and what you have is actually you have got two sheets inside and you have to apply this uh, like this one this fruit all over your face so you can um, use it that way it's not like complete sheet mask you have to apply slices all over your face so this is in the variant uh, watermelon which looks like this and then I have got uh, two of the cucumbers and this is how they look like then i've got two of the lemon sheet mask which looks like this they are little, little lemon slices i can't wait to use them i am planning on doing a video with this sheet mask on my channel let me know if you want to see that video i would love to film uh, that video for you guys and also share my thoughts that how these sheet masks work and they feel on your skin and then i got two of the tomato slice uh, sheet mask actually i don't like tomatoes do you guys like to eat tomato i eat tomato and uh, this is how the tomato sheet like slices looks like i hate eating tomatoes but they had only four variants so i thought of getting two of each and uh, they also have flower slice sheet masks like tulips and roses but they didn't had over there so i have got only four of these and uh, two from each variety so the next thing i got is this two face sweet peach creamy peach oil lip gloss which looks like this this is how the packaging looks like and i've got it in the shade papa don't peach it's a very uh, nude lip gloss which I, can, uh, which I can top up on any lipstick like any nude lipstick i want to let me swatch okay it has a very strong peachy smell you guys and this is how the gloss looks like it's uh, exactly a peach color i don't have too many uh, lip glosses in my collection and i thought of getting this one and uh, i wanted the mark jacobs uh, enamored high shine lip glosses but i wasn't there so i thought of buying this because it's inexpensive in comparison to mark uh, jacobs uh, lip glosses it has got very strong smell of peaches you guys it smells very very strong so if you are someone who doesn't like the smell of peach uh, don't buy this this is all i have got from sephora and as i purchased all of this stuff they also gave a few of the samples in this box 
this is how it looks so yeah this is all i've got from sephora recently i hope you enjoyed it and if you want a review of any of the products i have mentioned let me know in the comment section below i would love to uh, review that specific product for you guys and i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please don't forget to hit that like button and also do not forget to subscribe so that i can upload more and more videos for you guys i know a lot of you have been watching my videos and not subscribing please don't do that it counts a lot to me and it makes me really happy so please do that and uh, let me know if you want uh, more such videos on my channel i would love to uh, film haul videos for you and uh, i've also been vlogging uh, this month uh, i'm not a good vlogger but i'll try to vlog as much as possible if anything exciting is going on in my life and um, I'll be uploading that video in first week of May. So yeah, please make sure that you subscribe so that you can watch uh, my blog as well. And before I end, I would like to mention uh, what is on my lips right now. It's from ColourPop and it's their lippy stick and this is in the shade Tukkan. I was loving this lipstick last uh, year and I don't know why I stopped using it. And again, I have fallen in love and I'm wearing it a lot. So I thought of mentioning it to you guys. So yeah, that is all I wanted to say. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon on my channel. Bye!